tonight I think I'm going to have to do something that you often don't see me do in my videos, and that's light up a big fat joint, a celebration joint, because the No One Question 3 campaign just got more ridiculous than even last week when they got punked by Scott Gasick. It just gets worse and worse. And this time, who are they attacking? Who are they going after? They're going after Mike Can. At this point, I might even have to talk to my lawyer. I'm just going to read from some of it, just the beginning. They, they sent out, basically the uh, No One Question 3 campaign sent out a press release that was just forwarded to me by WGBH. The reporter's are already calling me, asking me about it. It was sent out uh, today, today at 12.55 p.m. Um, I posted a video a couple weeks ago, uh, actually not even, probably about... Uh, 10 days ago, I believe it was. I'd have to look it up, but I guess about 10 days ago. Uh, going after the uh, No One Question 3 campaign because it was just ridiculous. The video that they put out um, saying that the end goal for medical marijuana was legalization. And I turned around it and jokingly said, yes, that's exactly what we're trying to do. And when I said, yes, that's exactly what we were trying to do, I meant myself and other people in the state the 62% that I referenced, the 62% of voters that I referenced that support legal marijuana. Not medical marijuana, legal marijuana. 62% of voters by a mass care normal poll from just last year. This was sent out to the media. This the, the media is now calling me because I, you know, they're basically advertising my Mike Can YouTube, which I really kind of appreciate. Thank you, Heidi Hellman. But uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of disgusted because it's not truthful. It's not factual. There's a lot of misinformation in here, and they didn't try. They didn't reach out to me. They didn't find out. They didn't do the basic research that anyone would do to find out who I actually am and what my role is before putting out this press release. Mike Can, the same person who posted the emotional video of an ALS patient stating he uses medical marijuana to alleviate symptoms, openly mocks a public service announcement, PSA, of the committee to oppose question three, massvotenoquestion3.com, by following that PSA with a personal tirade, admitting that the overarching goal of the Yes on Three campaign is to legalize pot for the masses. That's not what I said. I said the overwhelming goal for myself and the people of Massachusetts who are interested and marijuana reform is to legalize marijuana. Yes, I think that for a majority, 62% of mass voters, that's what they left out. Why, why don't you admit that, Heidi? That 62% of mass voters support legal marijuana. That's who I was speaking for. I wasn't speaking for the campaign for medical marijuana. I wasn't speaking for that campaign. I don't work for them. Let's quote Heidi Heilman here. She's the lead proponent for no one question three. Straight up, and I'm going to tell you what I think about her quote. While I enjoy this medical cannabis that is helping my back right now. All right. Heidi says, It's disturbing that the proponents of question three openly tout how they are strategically playing on the public's compassion for the chronically ill simply to dupe the state of Massachusetts into joining the crusade to fully legalize marijuana. You know what, Heidi? That's a bunch of BS. We don't. Number one, we don't need to dupe the public to get legal marijuana. We have 62% support. We did a poll last year with Mass Care Normal. State of Massachusetts, 62% of voters support legal marijuana. When you have 62% of the support already, you don't need to dupe anybody. That's called a landslide victory, especially when your opponents are at like 30%. You're polling at 30%. Who's duping who here? I think you're doing a lot of duping. When I say we, I say the people. I'm not talking about question three campaign. I'm talking about the people. The 62% that I reference, Heidi. That's who I speak for. I'm not speaking for a campaign. I'm not speaking for politicians. I'm not speaking for an organization. I am speaking for the 62% like myself who support legal cannabis. I've talked to hundreds if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of people about this subject. You know, I, I have a good feel on how people feel about this. And yes, we want it legalized. And when I said that in that video, I was mocking you. Yes, I was mocking you. Why was I mocking you? I said that we wanted to legalize it. And I said, hell yeah. 
A lot of us want to, 62% want to legalize it. If that is your number one campaign pitch against question two, you have no shot. And I was just telling my people that. Don't worry about it. You, I was basically telling them, Heidi, that you guys are a bunch of fools. And you know what? You've proven me right. And I'm taking the gloves off tonight because you lied about me in email. You didn't have the decency to call me. You didn't have the decency to email me. You didn't even have the decency to do the, the minimum basic amount of research to find out if I was actually associated working with the campaign for medical marijuana, which I am not. You painted me as, a, as an official proponent. You didn't come out and say it. And why didn't you say it? Because you knew you didn't know. You were hoping. You were hoping. But you didn't know. And, it, and it's proof in the pudding with the reporter's questions, with your PR flacky, flunky, with her comments. You guys don't know. And you're making... You, anyone reading this that doesn't know is going to assume that I'm working for the Question 3 campaign when I'm not. That's fraudulent. That's bankrupt. And I'm going to call out a private conversation I had with you too, Heidi, at this point. Because when you testified at the Mass State House in front of sick, dying patients, when I tried to discuss with you, when you brought up that children, you were worried about the children of Massachusetts and medical cannabis, that cannabis use would go up in Massachusetts, I pointed out to you the scientific facts you as a health professional I thought would be interested, but you weren't. You weren't interested at all. Your other colleague actually had some interest in it, but you didn't. Why? Why don't you care? Because well, I don't think you actually care about the kids. Because if you did, if you cared about the kids, you'd actually look at the scientific evidence. The evidence shows that Massachusetts has one of the highest use, use, uh, use rates of marijuana in the United States, in the world. And you, you, as soon as I say that, you're going to turn around and say, oh, that's because of decrim. No. That was before decrim. Marijuana use in Massachusetts under prohibition for teenagers has been sky high. We have turned in, we've turned our teenagers into cannabis dealers. The reason I want to legalize is because I want to protect the teenagers from the drug trade. The teenagers shouldn't be selling marijuana to each other. Things right now are ass backwards. Kids can get the pot easier than the adults can. What medical cannabis does, what legalization does, is it puts the power back into the adult's hand and it takes it out of the hands of the kids. I tried to explain that to you when I met, met when I taught, when I briefly had a conversation with you that day at the State House, Heidi. You had no interest in hearing that. To me, you really don't care about the kids. You're trying to dupe voters of Massachusetts into penalizing sick and dying patients. Using the children as the excuse, when in reality, you don't care about the children. Because if you did, you'd want to take the marijuana trade from the children's hands and put it into the legal, adult, regulated hands of professionals who can effectively deal medication and recreational m marijuana to people who want it. But instead, you, you continue to want it, to have it in high schools, to have it everywhere else where it shouldn't be. You're the one who's creating that. I want to read more of this. This is, as people, this is, this is quoting Heidi. As people learn the details, they begin to understand that this movement is completely disingenuous. And the end goal is for widespread use and abuse of marijuana. You know what, Heidi? Look at my back. You want to see my back? You want to see how, how much pain I'm in? Disingenuous? I'm in daily pain. I, the, you know what? You're disingenuous. You haven't reached out to me. You haven't found out about my pain. You haven't talked to the medical patients. Why are you lying? Why? I don't get it. You're not funded by anyone. I don't, I don't understand it, Heidi. I want to know. I want you to answer. I want to hear why you're doing this. You keep talking about the children, but you obviously don't care about the children. I've already explained that point. You don't care. Because if you did, you'd realize that, met, that uh, states that have decriminalized, legalized, brought on medical marijuana, those states, the, the teen use has dropped. Look at Portugal. Go to Portugal. Go, go to Amsterdam and check out with their native population how the use has dropped. The kids aren't using it anymore. It's not cool. You have to go to, you have to, go to a, 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 a legal place to buy it. Kids, kids have a harder time getting it. Right now, kids have an easier time getting pot than they do cigarettes. Nobody's been arrested over cigarettes. Teen use has gone down. Adult use has gone down. 
why can't we do the same with cannabis? What, that, that, that was my point, and you didn't want to hear that. You don't want to hear it. Said Heidi Hyman, a chief spokesman for MassVoteNoOnQuestion3.com. And president of the Mass, Massachusetts Prevention Alliance. Wow, what an oxy... I mean, come on. Come on. What are you preventing adults and, and sick people from getting cannabis, but allowing the teens to, 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 to control the market? Kids are selling pot now. We've, in, we've incentivized them to sell pot. Especially with this recession where they can't find jobs and the price of pot has gone through the roof. Who's selling it? It's the young people who are selling it. And when I said yes, we do want to legalize it, we are working on it, yeah, some of us citizens are. The campaign that I'm working on right now isn't the medical marijuana campaign, though I do support it, though I do promote it on my websites. No, the campaign I'm working on is legalizing marijuana in Massachusetts, and I'm very open about it, and many of our citizens are. Mass Care Normal's been working on it, another organization. Uh, Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts has been working on it. Uh, Stephen Epstein up in Georgetown, Mass, has been working on it, an attorney. What they've been doing is collecting signatures for public policy questions for legalization to set the stage for 2016. This isn't Peter Lewis funded, who you threw in there. We're not getting any funding from Peter Lewis. I I'm broke. I have no money. Um, this is all done privately through private contributions and mostly volunteers. I mean, 90, I, I would venture 90% of this because I've been there. I've been out there. I've seen the people collecting the signatures. I know who they are. I know Alex Arsenal who led a lot of the signature gathering. This is done mostly on a volunteer basis by citizens like myself of Massachusetts. When I speak, I speak for the citizens of Massachusetts. I'm not speaking for the Committee for Compassionate Medical Marijuana Use. I'm not speaking for Mass Can Normal. I'm not speaking for Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts. I'm speaking for Mike Can and the citizens of Massachusetts who agree with me. And I find that there are a lot of them that do agree with me. They're on my YouTube page. They, they talk to me daily. We discuss these issues. We want it legal. Yes, we do.